be showing you how to customize your own um, chip bags using Microsoft Word. First thing you'll do is open up Microsoft Word. Then I'll go to File, Save As, and then name your file. Um, I'll put Tutorial for Chip Bags. And then where it says save as type, I'll go to Word 97 2003 because I like the settings on this format. And then save. Then you will go to page layout. Right here, page layout. bear with me. okay page layout then you'll go to orientation landscape and now we're going to create our template you will go to insert shapes rectangle make a rectangle doesn't matter the size while your rectangle is selected you're gonna have this format tab if it's not selected, you don't have the format tab. So make sure it's selected. You'll be on your format tab. Over here on your right, on your height, you're going to select this with your mouse. When it turns blue, you are going to type your height, 6.44, enter. And your width will be 2.52, enter. And this is one of the sides of your chip bags and you're gonna put it over here unselected we're gonna go back to insert shapes rectangle make any size rectangle make sure you're on your format tab go on your right and you're gonna type on your height 6.44 enter and your width will be 5.45 enter you're gonna connect this rectangle with your other rectangle and unselected you're gonna go back to insert shapes and you will do another rectangle that looks like this one or just click on this one right click copy right click paste and you have the same rectangle so you put it right next to the middle rectangle. So now you have three. Then you're going to go back to insert shapes. You're going to click back on your rectangle. Make a, another rectangle. It doesn't matter the size. Make sure you're on your format tab. You have your rectangle selected. You're going to go on your height. And you're going to click 0 0.67 enter. And your width should be... 10.49 enter and you're going to attach that one to the top you're going to click on that rectangle we just made and you're going to right click copy right click and paste and you're going to put this rec oops sorry you're going to um, put this rectangle in the bottom and that is your template. Top and bottom is your border, which was 0 0.67 by 10.49. This rectangle and this rectangle is 6.44 by 2.52. And your middle rectangle is 6.44 by 5.45. Okay, let's get to designing. I'm going to do it really simple. Um, I'll keep doing more tutorials on chip bags and other labels so I can keep it really simple for you guys. So um, you will click on, the fr on, let's say, the middle rectangle, right? And if you want to shape fill it with a color, you're going to go right here in the middle where it says shape fill, and you're going to pick any color you would like. 
This is just for solid colors. And remember, shape fill means that you are filling your entire background. This is not to add individual images. This is only for your full background. If you don't want a solid color, you will go, you will click on your rectangle, make sure you're in your format tab. You will go to shape fill and picture. And then you will look for a background. Backgrounds, you can go to Google and save it or Etsy or anything. You could look for any background you would like. So let's get a background. And this is only for to fill in your entire background. Okay, let's put this pink. And insert and this is to fill in your entire background now your borders click on the top border shape fill and click on any color you would like if you don't like these colors you can also go to more fill colors and there's more colors right here that you can choose of I'm just gonna do something simple so you go to shape fill and add any color you click the bottom go to shape fill and add any color. Now the sides. You will click on the rectangle on your on the side. You'll go to shape fill, add any color of choice. If you want another background, you will go to picture and add your background. I'm just going to do any solid color. Click on the other rectangle, go to shape fill and pick a color. And now you have everything filled in. Now you will unselect it and this is how you will add your individual images. Make sure nothing is selected. You will go to insert picture and then you will look for a picture that you would like to add. Then you will click on your image, go to insert. You see your image, you can't see it, it's because it's behind it. Make sure your image is selected, which it will be as soon as you insert it. On the format tab, you will go to wrap, wrap text in front of text. And your image is in the front. These little um, circles, you can size your image. And you will place it wherever you would like. You will unselect it. Go back to insert picture. Click on another picture you would like to add. Press insert. Your image is in the back. Go to format, wrap text in front of text and your image should be in the front. And this is how you will keep adding your images. So picture, insert, wrap text in front of text. Now you will go right here on your other rectangle and you will go to insert. Some people use text box. I use word art. Click on Word Art, click on the first rectangle. And if you have a type of font that you would like, you will search for your font. Um, you can also download font at dafont.com, thefont.com. Um, pretty sure I have a Rugrats font. That's what I'm looking for. Rugrats font, then you will type in any any sentiment you would like. I'm going to type in thank you for 
thank you for coming. You will press OK. And you see it's behind it. Make sure it's selected. You will go to Format, Wrap Text, In Front of Text. Your text is right here. Now while your uh, text is selected, Format, Shape Fill. Fill in the color of your text. Also right here is Shape Outline. You can change the color of your outline. I'm going to keep it red. The little um, circles is for you to size them. You can go back to insert, picture, and keep adding images on the sides if you would like. So your image is there. Wrap text in front of text. Size your image. Now, if you want some nutritional facts, you will go to Google and look up birthday nutritional facts or baby shower nutritional facts, and then you will save it. I have them saved, so you will go to insert, picture, and then you will look for whatever file you have your nutritional facts saved. Click on your image, press insert, format, wrap text in front of text. Once you have your nutritional facts, you will go to back to Google search up a um, barcode you would like so i have some saved so you will go to insert picture and click on a barcode you would like click on your image i'm in and insert format wrap text in front of text and add your barcode pretty simple to do now if I move anything of here, it will move by itself. So you need to make sure you group everything together. So you will hold down your shift key. Wait, make sure nothing is selected. And you would hold down your shift key and click on everything that you have added on your chip bag. So your rectangle or your images. And everything is selected. Then you will go to Format, Group, and Group. Everything should move together. Oh, well, that didn't move together because I didn't group it. So back, back, and hold down your Shift key. And so now Format, Group, and Group. And everything should move as one. Oh, well, look at that. Well, undo. You have to make sure you grab everything. So shift and click on that. Format, group, and group. Now everything should move together. Okay, see? Everything moves together. And then you have your custom chip bags. Pretty simple to do. I'll keep doing more tutorials on chip bags, but I just did a simple one so you can know the basics. You do your rectangles, fill in your rectangles, fill in um, your background and your images so top and bottom will be your borders the left rectangle and the right rectangle is the back of your chip bags and the middle rectangle is the front of your chip bags and that's all and then you will print and then I will do another video on how to assemble them thank you for watching